Okay, here we are back at the ground swell dye garden and uh, I've just brought a few plants, a few more plants up to put in and uh, quick, quick uh, recce to see what's been happening in here. Um, mostly everything seems to be okay. We have a uh, fence, a little fence around there to keep the deer and rabbits off. So everything's been pretty well protected against that kind of predation. However, there are some things that are not going ideally. Um, this is Dyer's chamomile and as you can see some of the leaves are quite a bit red. They're not particularly fat either. Um, and that means that it's suffering from lack of water. Uh, otherwise it's you know it's okay but uh, it's just not growing very fast at all and that's lack of water much uh, <clears throat> the uh, dice uh, the uh, cosmos sulfurious here uh, that got attacked by slugs earlier on uh, but we put some I put some slugs pellets down and it is now recovering quite nicely um, the woad Woad is looking pretty good. It's obviously been nibbled here and there, and I suspect the culprit is our, our um, uh, flea beetles. Flea beetles, uh, they're obviously quite a common pest out here in the field. I don't know whether you can see any, but there is, there is a couple of flea beetles on the leaves just there. Next, we have the germination, seed germinations. And this is woad. This is woad. It's just started to germinate quite nicely. There's plenty of it coming up okay. Again, been a, some of the plants have been a little bit nibbled by flea beetles, but otherwise it's fine. Next to it, we have Coreopsis, Dyer's Coreopsis, this. And as you can see, this is coming up really well. Very well indeed. Uh, quite pleased with this uh, so there should be plenty of that coming up uh, next to it this is supposed to be a um, a bed of weld uh, but there is virtually nothing nothing here and I'm not quite sure why it could just be the sheer dryness of this field up here um, weld really to get the weld going it should have been sown a lot earlier in the year a lot earlier uh, during the wet period uh, <clears throat> however our transplanted weld is actually doing quite well it's not growing particularly fast but it's um, it's now recovered from being transplanted the leaves have greened up and they're looking quite nice Looking quite nice. They'll be they'll be good, I think. Nothing nothing seems to have attacked them. Here we've got another another little bed, and this is supposed to be uh, Japanese indigo. However, once again, there's no particular sign of anything coming up, which is a shame. Um, and again, I kind of I put that down to the lack of lack of water lack of water it's just been incredibly dry here these last couple few weeks um, you know we've had a little bit of rain uh, but it's been nothing really it's been nothing it's just a smidge of rain this is the uh, Chinese indigo sorry Chinese uh, woad plant which got seriously nibbled by again by slugs um, and now it's it's again it's been nibbled by a few flea beetles uh, but otherwise it's recovered nicely and is growing and the madder which I don't know it's not looking terribly brilliant again the leaves are uh, they're a little bit reddish so it hasn't really hasn't really got over being transplanted yet um, however it's not suffering it's not suffering too much so I think it will recover okay over in the center here on the right 
we have some tansy and that seems to have recovered very well. On the left there's two different species of goldenrod and they also are doing extremely well. Nothing has touched them at all. Uh, the Dyer's Greenweed um, Yeah, Dyer's Greenweed you can see there that little shrub, that little shrub thing that is doing okay nothing seems to have nibbled that either and over in the this little hole in the ground there there is some sawwort which also seems to be recovering okay um, I've just watered I've just watered uh, this plot and already already <laughs> there's some more slugs coming out this field is absolutely infested with slugs hundreds and thousands and billions of them uh, so uh, they're obviously out, out to anything that's anything that's remotely tasty it I don't know what kind of species this is is they're grey slugs anybody know out there okay anyway I'm gonna plant up some more plants and uh, we'll take it from there okay bye for now <laughs>